This next part of the evening takes place over three rounds at a catch weight of 73 kilos. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing SBG Nace and bringing into the cage a record of four wins and three defeats, presenting Nikolai Shiapu! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing Fight Academy Ireland. He brings into the cage a record of one win and four defeats. Give it up for Jack McAvoy! He's only last weekend at the Nationals. Three fights already in the books this year. He's got a four and three record. Four wins by TKO, three defeats by decision. So, no secret that he wants to get this done early. Jack McAvoy on a three-fight skid in the green trunks, opens up with a beautiful kick to the body. Did I, did I hear you right, Paul? Did he fight last weekend? Twice last weekend. This is his third fight in seven days. My goodness. Busy man. Very busy, yeah. And only a few weeks before that, he lost a three-round decision to Yusuf Ukasin. So he has been a busy fighter, representing SBG Nace. Peter Queely, of course, in his corner. Chiopu pushing the pace from the start here. Yeah, he's got Jack up here, and it looks like he's trying to get a bit of a body lock. Jack's doing the right thing here, but if he's not careful, uh, Nikolai might just drag him to the ground from this position, but I'm just not sure how, the, how tight that body lock is. Yeah, it's difficult to see the grip from this position. Jack's first bout since last summer when he uh, lost a very entertaining bout to Robert Barrett at Cage Legacy 16. He actually injured his eye socket on that. that that's why he's been out for a, a wee bit. But he's, you know, I've been training with Jack myself, and he's he's eager to get back into the cage. And you know, don't let his record, like you know, don't judge him by his record. Is what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, he's, I uh, mean, that, that fight was very close, and it was a banger. And yeah, Jack was uh, definitely definitely carrying a few knocks coming out of that one. Both fighters were. Jack has fought on cage conflict four, five, and six. He's one and two on the promotion, so he's looking to level up his record here in this cage. A couple of big knees from Jack there, but you know, oh, he hit him with the suicide. That was lovely. Uh, yeah, that takedown of Shiopu. It's a, it's a favourite of Shiopu's. It's one he goes back to a lot. That was a, a good scramble back up here, and we're back to the same position again. Yeah, he didn't accept the bottom position. Yeah, that's what you like to see from guys. You don't want to see them accepting any position on the feet or on the ground. If you're getting taken down, you want to be scrambling back up, protecting your back. And, and you know, Jack, you know, he's, although he's back in his back against the cage, you know, he, he he got back to where he needed to be. So that's what we want to see. He's Nikolai. working hard to get that underhook back now. And yeah, he's, yeah, it's, it's a hard old job there. That Nikolai's got a good grip. He's got that tight waist, and uh, you know he's probably going to try and link, sync up the hands here. But you know, Jack's doing Jack's doing the right things here. Man handles McAvoy to the floor. You can see the physical strength that Shiopu has in those clinches. It's a really awkward looking position here. He's like. <laughs> You're more experienced in the ground. You might be able to describe that a bit better than the what I can. The big issue is that with his left arm, he has a huge big underhook, so it's it's what's stopping McAvoy from being able to work his way back up. And now he's found himself flattened out in this crucifix. And yeah. A very, very difficult position, but he might just be able to survive this round. But really good pressure by Shiopu. We can see there, chest to chest. There's no wiggle room, no scramble space. Yeah, everything's very tight. Even when he's got him in the clinch, it's very tight. You can see Jack's really struggling to do anything from that clinch position. It's because Nikolai is leaving no gaps whatsoever. Yeah. So we might see McAvoy try to keep a little bit more distance. Yeah. But we know Shiopu's a pressure fighter. As I said, Shiopu has a rake of first round TKO victories. Any decisions he's gone to, he's lost. So he might not, you would judge by that kind of record, he might not have to stay in power to do that kind of, or withhold that kind of pressure pace for all three rounds. Both guys throwing big shots there. Jack uh, caught Nikolai with a check hook on the way in, and now we're in this kind of awkward scramble. Back into this scarf hole position. Yeah. He's straight to it. And I, I, again, like the first round, there's no gap here at all this just looks like a nightmare it's heavy and he's looking for that little american with his legs he's going to try and step over it there he goes and he's going to just really crank on that left shoulder of mcavoy
Roy, Ooh. who is in real trouble. Big trouble. Because you've nothing to defend your face with. You're eating shots. He's going to need to get out of this position or the ref might have to, to step in here. Shiopu just needs to keep landing those bombs. Yeah. I mean, they're not... They're oh, there not, we go. This is it. They're not even big shots, but, I mean, if you can't defend yourself, the referee has yeah. to defend for you. So That's the rule, intelligently defending yeah. yourself, and once you're you're not able to do that, the victory is gone. It's gone to Nikolai Shiopu. He'll be very happy with that performance. Very happy.